Hello from the studios at Pascual Bravo University. Red or green, rojo or verde, every soccer fan who lives in the Antiochian capital of Medellin sooner or later has to declare his or her allegiance to one or the other. This classic rivalry brings life, energy, debate, and passion to the three million inhabitants of the Valle de Abura. Sports play a central role in the relationship every citizen has with the city in which they live. This fascination and integration of competitive sports with city life has been going on since the beginning of recorded history. One of the most famous sporting games of all time comes from the Mesoamerican cultures found among the ancient Mayans, Incas, Aztecs, and Olmecs. They all played a similar game known simply as the ball game. The large rectangular stone courts, usually found in a city's temple district, were a staple feature of Mesoamerican culture. More than just a game, though, the event often carried religious significance. The contest even supplied candidates for human sacrifice. For the sport could, quite literally, be a game of life or death. The exact rules are unknown for certain. However, the main objective was to get a ball through one of the rings spread throughout the court. Much like modern day soccer, the players could not use their hands. Players could be professionals or amateurs, and there is evidence of betting on the outcome of important games. Winners of the game received trophies called achas, which was a representation of a human head with a handle attached to it. As games often had a religious significance, the captain of the losing team, or even sometimes the entire team, were sacrificed to the gods. Such scenes are depicted in the decorative sculpture on the courts themselves. Perhaps the most famous is the South Ball Court at Chichen Itza, where one relief panel shows two teams of seven players with one player having been decapitated. I am Gary Vernier, and this has been a Pascual Bravo English documentary. Until next time, good luck with English.